What's going on guys? My name is Anthony and welcome to part 5 of things you might not know about Minecraft. Now you guys know the drill, if you want to see a part 6 of the series then be sure to leave a comment in the comment section below. And if you guys do enjoy today's video then be sure to give this video a like as it is going to help me out a huge bunch. And if you are new to my channel and you enjoy my videos then be sure to subscribe as well. But anyways without further ado let's go ahead and get straight into it. You can make a staircase using fences and carpets. You need to make sure that the first stair has a fence in the ground right here, otherwise you won't be able to use the first one. And as you can see, I can walk up it right here. The wither will attack all living entities including the ender dragon. As you can see, it's attacking the ender dragon right here. LOL. You can fill a large area completely with water if you place water diagonally. Now as you can see I've used oak wood to mark out where to place the water, so if we place water on every single diagonal spot right here, you will know once I've done it that every single section will fill out com- Oh, oh no, there we go, it worked. <laughs> I, I was sighing because I thought I did it wrong. But there you go, it's all filled out of water. Back in the early days of Minecraft, such as in Minecraft Alpha, all the way up to Beta 1.6, there used to be an old cobblestone texture and an old mossy cobblestone texture. Now there was also an old brick texture as well and a few other old textures. So um, yeah, back in the early days of Minecraft there used to be a lot of old textures and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. You can find your spawn with a compass without actually crafting it. If you craft the recipe of a compass in the crafting menu like so, then the uh, outcome of the compass will actually point towards spawn right here as you can see. A quick side fact about compasses, if you go into the creative menu, the compass right here will also point towards spawn. See? Critical hits only occur on mobs when you are falling and not jumping. So if I jump and hit the mob, you will see that the little particles don't come out of the mob which means it wasn't a critical hit. But, if I fall when hitting the mob, you will see that the particles came out, which means it was a critical hit. Which means you need to be falling when hitting a mob, say if you're killing a skeleton or a zombie or anything like that. Sheep will actually eat grass through half slabs. As you saw, that sheep was eating grass at the start of the clip. And a quick side fact, there is a 0.5% chance that a pink sheep will actually spawn in your Minecraft world. Iron golems do not take full damage. See? As you can see it didn't get hurt and they also can't drown as well. You can spawn a giant zombie by using the following command. Wow. <laughs> you can actually sleep during the day if it is thundering and raining. So if we change the weather to thunder and let's just wait for it to start thundering in the world. We should be able to sleep and bear in mind it is daytime right now. And uh, yeah, let's just wait for it to, uh, uh, you know, give a thunder strike. There we go. Now, if we try to sleep, you will know that uh, I can sleep right here. And it gets rid of the rain and thunder at the same time. And it is still daytime. So, um, yeah. Thanks for watching, everybody. I really hope you all enjoyed today's part of things you might not know about Minecraft. Again, if you want to see a part 6, then be sure to leave a comment in the comments below. And if you did know any of these facts that I pointed out in the video, then also uh, comment that as well, because I'd be interested to know. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. So I really hope you all enjoyed today's video, and I will see you all in tomorrow's video. So thanks for watching, everyone, and I will see you all next time. Goodbye!